Shiv Sena UBT mouthpiece has made a very strong attack on the Congress party, uh, blaming it uh, for its performance and uh, making it clear that when it comes to a straight fight between the Congress and the BJP, the Congress has often faltered. This is something that allies of India uh, bloc have often talked about. Now, allies are hitting out at the Congress party and this is crucial, Kitty, because this comes just, uh, you know, before uh, the seat sharing arrangements get finalized in Maharashtra Mahavikas Agadi. So, Uddhav Thakre hitting out at uh, uh, the Congress party, making it clear yeah. that uh, when it comes to a straight fight, the Congress is up to no good deal. When and, and after the Haryana loss, you know, it's very important to note here, Vasudha, that the Congress party would definitely be at the mercy of its alliance partners when it goes to uh, elections in Maharashtra or even Delhi next year. Now, this is some important bit of information that has come in. Uh, the UPD has said that the Congress must uh, learn from its Haryana loss and Nakke Shelja has publicly humiliated, has been publicly humiliated during the polls. Well, uh, my colleague Sujata is also now joining us on the broadcast here. Uh, uh, Sujata, take us through the details now. I think there's some problem with the audio uh, there uh, with our reporter. We'll go back to Sujata in just a moment. Well, that's Let's take that question to Manisha here. Priyam. Uh, Manisha, yeah. help us understand uh, when the Congress, when the UBT uh, Shiv Sena says that the Congress High Command failed to control factions. There are precedents to this. We saw what happened in Madhya Pradesh. We saw what happened in Chhattisgarh. Uh, okay, uh, 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 we have uh, Sujata back with us. Uh, Sujata, tell us what exactly does uh, this Samna piece say and uh, how sharp is this attack? Because yesterday also we saw UBT spokespersons come out and criticize the Congress uh, very sharply. Well, certainly, and considering the nature of the upcoming Vidhan Sabha elections in Maharashtra this time, it is Samana which uh, clearly came out and stated about how it was Congress uh, not taking benefit of the BJP's vulnerabilities in uh, in the state, which led uh, to them not taking the complete benefit and the disarray of interest and factionalism within the Congress led to them losing a tray of win of seats that were ready for them, and also uh, in Samana, which is which comes under the UBT faction of Shiv Sena, it stated that somewhere the Congress must be cautious and take lessons uh, because considering, you know, uh, be it uh, the entire uh, leads that the Congress was taking in the start, it was very evident that the Congress could make uh, their government in the state. However, the Haryana polls has completely given a warning, a sign for the Mahavikas Aghari too, where it is, um, you know, the Uddha Balasaheb Thakri Shiv Sena, which has stated and mentioned several reasons. And also they were accusing, they did accuse the former Chief Minister Dipinder Singh Hudda about how uh, it is not, uh, it is uh, his, it is own mindset that he believes that uh, Mr. Bhupinder is the sole uh, decision maker in the party and several senior leaders like Shailja Kumari was also sidelined and uh, her decisions were not taken, leading to a state of factionalism and uh, also the top tier authority of the parties were not able to include themselves in the affairs of uh, the election in the, in the process of it because of which it led uh, to uh, the Congress unable to secure the majority and also, uh, you know, because it is... Uh, a state of uh, seat sharing discussions which is underway in Maharashtra for the upcoming assembly elections. Congress and uh, Shiv Sena UBT are definitely on uh, one to one basis. On to that we'll come back to you. Own. Sanjay Raut of uh, uh, Shiv Sena UBT is speaking on this. Let's listen into that. काही पक्ष असे आहेत की ज्यांना तिथे महत्व देणं गरजेचं होतं समाजवादी पार्टी असेल आप तिथे निवडणुका लढते आपच्या मतांचा जिथे काही टक्का आहे या सगळ्यांशी चर्चा करून इंडिया आघाडी म्हणून जर हरियाणामध्ये निवडणुकांना आपण सामोरे गेले असतो तर निकालामध्ये नक्की बदल झालेला असता it was a very close call that Congress was unable to form its government. However, it was a good fight by the Congress. The fault and the mistakes done by the Congress uh, as well as the opposition in Haryana will not be repeated in Maharashtra. The bargaining power in regards to seat sharing is not amongst uh, us, the Mahavikas Agari, and we are very sure of what is going to be our next move.
माननीय उद्धव ठाकरे यांनी सांगितलं ते शंभर टक्के सत्य आहे जम्मू काश्मीरच्या निवडणुकीमध्ये ओमर अब्दुल्ला हा चेहरा होता लोकांनी ओमर अब्दुल्ला आणि इंडिया आघाडीला मतदान केलं ते मान्य केलं पाहिजे हरियाणामध्ये सुद्धा जर इट इज व्हेरी ट्रू वॉट निवडणुका लढायच्या जिंकायच्या आणि मग नेता हे धोरण लोकांच्या पसनी पडत नाही माझा नेता कोण या राज्याचा माझं नेतृत्व कोण करणार आहे या राज्याला चेहरा कोणता आहे ते स्पष्ट करा एकनाथ शिंदे हा चेहरा नव्हता तो लादलेला चेहरा आता त्या चेहऱ्यानं सांगू इट इज व्हेरी क्लिअर दॅट हू इज गोईंग टू बिकम द फेस ऑफ अ चीफ मिनिस्टर बिकॉज पीपल वॉन्ट टू नो हू इज गोईंग टू बी दर लिडर uh eknath shinde during his tenure now as the chief minister he was never the face uh, as the leader in the start which eventually led uh, to uh, this time they will not be able to secure the majority votes but we are very sure of our votes nahi koi asar nahi hai hindi mein jo mamla hai lagbhag pura ho chuka hai pura ho chuka lekin humko kuch sabak lene padegi कुछ बातें ऐसी है जो हरियाणा में हुई है जो नहीं होनी चाहिए थी वो महाराष्ट्र में हमको दुरुस्त करनी पड़ेगी एक उससे फायदा हो गया कि जो हरियाणा में जो गलतियां हुई है ऐसा लगता है हमें लगता है शायद कांग्रेस को नहीं लगता होगा मैं इंडिया गठबंधन की बात करता हूं मैं महाविकास आघाड़ी की बात करता हूं तो महाराष्ट्र में उस हिसाब से हमको काम करना रीजनल पार्टी के सपोर्ट शिवाय सपोर्ट के बिना चाहे कांग्रेस पार्टी हो चाहे बीजेपी हो कोई भी देश में राज नहीं कर सकता चाहे बीजेपी हो आज बीजेपी तो बीजेपी की सरकार तो रीजनल पार्टी के ऊपर ही बनी है ना फॉर it's very much clear the congress seems to be losing the negotiating power here uh, when it comes to uh, the allies uh, after the haryana loss uh, uh, not just the aam aadmi party or tmc but it's uh, the ubt also now questioning uh, the congress party exactly and if you look at the series of events that have happened in the past it was after the lok sabha polls that the bargaining power of congress in maharashtra somewhere had increased and now uh, for the upcoming vidhan sabha polls it was congress very well sure that they will be able to uh, you know get better votes and better seats this time with regards to the vidhan sabha polls and also as per what the exit polls in haryana stated that congress was clearly on the verge and it was a clean swift win for the congress but after the results it is now uh, the other members of the mahavikas aghadi who clearly seem this satisfied with congress performance and this is not because of uh, you know the number of seats that they have scored and whether it was law it was uh, less than what it was required but it was also uh, the samna which stated that it is not about a uh, winning or loss but it is about the top tier controlling their party and how it was uh, the haryana state unit which failed to give uh, the, the needed attention and the needed decision making power to other leaders and it was the former chief minister of the congress that is mr huda who took all the decisions and right. thought him himself as the sole bearer of the party eventually leading to this happening so somewhere the bargaining power in maharashtra is definitely going to be impacted in the mahavikas agadi as well considering that the dates of the uh, vidhan sabha polls in maharashtra also seems to be nearing so at this point uh, definitely in congress in maharashtra too the leaders will try to ensure that uh, they assure the mahavikas agadi of them keeping a close check and control on the disarray that has been happening in the party internally where several the leaders in the past have also uh, the expressed that satisfaction because agadi was also who will be the cm face and there's an implicit understanding in the mva that there will be no cm face this time although there's been a lot of clamor in the ubd shiv sena to uh, project uh, udhav thakre as the cm face would this also increase uh, 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 you know noise and clamor for uh, shiv sena in the sense uh, would that would that would, would this also put shiv sena in a stronger footing considering that uh, 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 you know the party but of course uh, congress performed really well in lok sabha so you know it it can't be easily given to the uh, shiv sena as well that's what the congress has also been saying 
Well, uh, yes, and if you speak about the Lok Sabha performance of the Congress, where it scored 13 seats uh, in Maharashtra, and also considering that how Uddhav Thakre this time in the Vidhan Sabha polls, it is going to be important uh, to see and witness his performance based on the sympathy ground that he has been on so far uh, because of the faction and the split that happened in 2022. And so far, the Mahavikas Sagari has always been vocal about how they are on, uh, you know, always of the view that uh, Shiv Sena UBT must be given the role of a big brother in the Agari considering their stronghold as the Marathi Manos and because Uddhav Balasaheb Thakre is, uh, is, follows the hierarchy of Balasaheb Thakre, so the vote garnering power of uh, uh, UBT becomes stronger. But this time it was uh, the Congress too who did uh, ask for a big leap and also uh, in out of the 288 seats in Maharashtra, it was Congress who was willing to fight on at least 130 to 150 seats.